ready to get on your feet for our first presenter from Cohort Dose. Please, Braden and Courtney Burton from Wheelies and Waves. <laughs> to kick off tonight's event. My name is Brandon Burton. This is my lovely, beautiful, talented wife you can keep and going. business partner, Courtney Burton. We're here to, to, to continue to establish ourselves as a go-to adventure company right here in the Gunnison Valley. And we want everyone to come along for the ride. We like to say it's like we're married to adventure. So much so that we even rode into our wedding on a dirt bike. I grew up surfing and Brayden grew up riding dirt bikes and doing everything adventure sports related. Really, this business is about combining our passions for adventure and sharing them with all of you. Brayden, tell them how it started. Yeah, in 2011, Courtney and I decided to chase some adventure and move to Crested Butte, Colorado. Um, to really just spend the winter enjoying a, a winter on the mountain. And since then, like many of you, we've been trying to figure out how to set down some roots here in the valley. And in the summer of 2015, Courtney said we should buy some stand-up paddle boards and rent them. And so that's what we did. We bought some stand-up paddle boards and started renting them out of our garage. You may know us as CB Sup, Courtney and Braden Stand-Up Paddle. And we started four years ago. The goal was simple, just to help people get outside and enjoy the outdoors. And that first summer, out of our garage, it was just us, filling the cracks of our day with a new business. Maybe Courtney picked up some boards, or dropped off some boards on her way to work as a waitress. Or maybe I picked him up an old black Betty on, uh, after working all day as a mechanic. If that's the case, you probably know how passionate we are about living here, working hard, and helping people have fun. It's pretty crazy, but in just four years, we've grown to be a full-blown adventure company. We have two locations, one right here in Gunnison. At 110 South 12th Street. If you guys didn't know. And one up the road in Crested View. And we come to realize that we're so much more than just paddle boards. We are all things adventure rentals. Yes, we have paddle boards, but we also have kayaks, tubes, dirt bikes, adventure bikes. We love to host really fun local events right here in the valley and take people on amazing tours and experiences both locally and globally. That's why we're here tonight, to rebrand ourselves. No, to reintroduce ourselves as Wheelies and Waves Adventure Company. One of our biggest goals as a business is to take the intimidation out of trying a new sport. Whether you just want to come grab some rentals or you want to go on a tour with us, we want you to know you're on the best equipment and what kind of experience you're getting into. We'd love to take people from shaky legs as they try to stand up on a paddleboard for the first time to being able to confidently navigate down a river. And no matter what you do with us, we want you to feel welcome and really stoked to start your adventure here. We work really hard to build a culture of empowerment, both with our clients and our team. Like Brayden was saying with the shaky legs on the paddleboard, when they finally stand up or when they do that trail for the first time and really nail it, we like to help people celebrate those little wins and take that into every aspect of their lives. It's something we really pride ourselves on as a business. Yeah, and Courtney and I are constantly looking for ways to improve, both personally and professionally. That's why when we saw the accelerator come up for a second round of application, I said, babe, we got to do this, fill out the application. And I did. I didn't know what it entailed, but I knew it was going to help us grow our business and we needed to be a part of it. We're constantly improving and we're never limited by our resources, just our resourcefulness. That was the segue I was looking for right there. And to be a world-class business built right here in the Gunnison Valley, you've got to get pretty resourceful. Absolutely. You know, we realized pretty quickly that the outdoor recreation industry is absolutely exploding. With over $62 billion spent right here in Colorado on outdoor recreation. As a locally grown adventure business, we want to help bring more of that revenue to the valley. And we're not the only ones. We're in really good company. What with the outdoor MBA coming right here to Western, which is super exciting, and the outdoor accelerator that the Ice Lab is hosting this spring, we know we're on the right path, and we're in really good company. Yeah, and right here in Gunnison County, we're home to about 80% public lands. That creates tremendous opportunity for all of us to get out and play, but it also takes some careful management. Courtney and I pride ourselves as being leaders in responsible tourism by not only being part of that conversation, 
but making sure the decisions that happen today support our needs in the future. Let me give you a couple examples. Uh, over the last year, I spearheaded a project to bring some state grant funds right here to Gunnison. Hartman Rocks, one of my favorite places to go play. Anybody else like to have some fun out of Hartman's? Yeah. Next year, Hartman Rocks is going to receive a new parking area on the backside by McCabe's, additional campsites, and most importantly, new trails for all of us to go play on. Courtney and I have also been asked to be a stakeholder in the Slate River Working Group, a group dedicated to developing adaptive management plans to deal with the additional traffic on our local rivers. We really pride ourselves on, on being part of that conversation, like I said, and we're grateful for the opportunity to have these partnerships and also make sure Outdoor Rec is done right. You know, we started this business really because we just wanted to have more fun and we were trying to be able to stay here. But as our business has grown, so is our vision. And we realize that people crave experiences and they want to make memories. And Wheelies and Waves Adventure Company is going to be here to help people do that. We're going to continue to offer the best possible rental equipment out there and take people on amazing tours and experiences both in the valley and globally. In order to do that, we love our space up in Crested Butte next to True Value, but we are actively seeking a larger space. As we grow, we need room to grow into. We also still have our awesome location here in Gunnison. Yeah, 110 time, South Wall Street. Just in case. <laughs> but most importantly, what we're here tonight really is for you guys. We need you, the community. We hope some of what we set up here tonight resonated with you. Whether it's our commitment to responsible tourism or the culture of empowerment through adventure sports that we're trying to grow. If that's the case, next time you have family or friends in town or you just want to try a new sport yourself, call us. Wheelies? And Waves Adventure Company. Thank you. Fantastic. Uh, I had to sit down. I I get a little nervous on couches, lots of therapy. Um, so I really appreciated the dramatic pause that you built into the middle of the presentation. We've been working on that for a while, so good yeah. job. Um, so let's, uh, we got uh, questions from you guys, I'm sure. I saw you scribbling down notes. Some of you were doing some drawings maybe, but what do you got? Just draw. Hey, this is Taylor. You guys did such an amazing job. Yeah, thank so you. Thank a round of applause for that. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm curious if you have a lot of global partnerships and expansion and sustainability and scalability for companies. I'm wondering what's next for you guys. You said that call to action for, for your business uh, and the community is to potentially new spaces. What's next after that? New product offerings? Yeah, we definitely have some new products coming to market next year. Uh, the accelerators really helped us dial in, you know, what we offer. So dirt bike rentals, adventure bike rentals, you know, global trips. We're going to Thailand in a couple of weeks. We're taking some guests with us. So we're really looking to build an adventure business around the valley and, and how this valley interacts with outdoor recreation, right? We do it right here. And so we want to really build on that, uh, deal with the visitors that are coming to the valley, help them experience it how we do, and treat it how we do, and then take that and, yeah, expand as, as large as we can based out of the Gunnison Valley. Uh, yeah, I'm curious what the other competition in the valley is like and how you plan to beat that competition out and make a name for yourself here. Oh, uh, there's, there's competition? <laughs> Well, if you've ever been on a tour or experience with us, you know that our customer service is top notch. Um, we want everybody that comes to visit us, and I know Braden, I don't know where I said we want them to feel like a local. Like, you know when you go into a place and you feel kind of uncomfortable, you know what's going on? We want to make sure everybody feels welcome, and so I really think that that's what helps us stand apart. Also, our equipment, we carry the best equipment, and we really care about, you know, people having an amazing experience when they come with us and having the best equipment so they feel more confident going out there and trying something new. Um, I'd like to echo a great uh, presentation. Thank you so much. Um, I'm just curious, uh, SUPS is one thing. Do you want to expand exponentially? Absolutely. What's your range plan? Do you chip away at it? you do it all at once? We or? already have, and that's one of the reasons why when we joined the Accelerator program, we were already doing kayaks and tubes and you know we've started doing some dirt bike rentals and adventure bike rentals this summer and as and Braden's been doing so much work with the BLM to build that new trail system over at Hartman's and so we were already kind of on that path and it felt a little weird to us to be like come run a dirt bike from CB Sup 
you know, not a lot of people know that SUP stands for standard paddle boards, but those that do, we're like, what's going on here? And so that's really why we, you know, knew that we needed to expand and grow and uh, branch out to wheelies and waves. Yeah. And then uh, one last question. Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, is, has the permitting been an issue for you? No, we have permits with the BLM, the National Park Service, who manages the Blue Mesa, and the National Forest Service. And then we've worked through that Slate River working group, uh, kind of on that access uh, part on the Slate River. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah. All right, put your hands together one more time for these guys. Thank you, guys. Kicking it off with a bang.